Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Guild Wars 2. I've been playing a lot more MMOs on this channel lately. Uh, mainly because they've been uh, getting updates and expansions and all sorts of fun stuff. So, I've always been a huge fan of Guild Wars. I played Guild Wars 1 from beta before before the game, like, Guild Wars 1's beta, before it even came out. That was awesome. Uh, played through all of Guild Wars 1, and I've played through all of the core game of Guild Wars 2. I never got into Heart of Thorns because I was already doing YouTube at that standpoint, like at that point. And MMOs were kind of bad for small channels, but now that I'm, you know, a little bit bigger and I've got uh, a fan base to, to lean on a little bit, I figured I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to invite you all along. So, uh, for starters, this is going to be ideally a full series. Uh, we've already recorded uh, all the way up to, what, level 20-ish through Celadon? And we're going to keep going, but uh, the nice little caveat here is I'm going to have a little link to my Discord below, and you guys can join us for this. Uh, even in this footage, you will see that uh, we had a whole horde of fans following us around, and I want that to actually be kind of a consistent thing. So if you guys do want to join us in playing Guild Wars 2, uh, feel free to pick it up. It's free to play, and you can uh, you can romp through through the uh, the wilds with us. Uh, I, I will say this is not a sponsored video. I'm actually just a huge fanboy for this series, and I'm excited to finally get the chance to play it. So I guess without further ado, I guess the last thing I should mention is I'm being joined by uh, Shell, uh, Keeper of Ages. I'll have a link to her channel below. I don't know if this uh, content will be making it to her cha channel, but she does some nice artwork. And Keith, which is youtube.com slash SebastianSB. So if you want to check out the two guys I'm playing with, or... The guy and the gal I'm playing with, uh, those are those are them, and then everybody else is just unassociated fans that are super super nice and dedicated some time to helping us uh, just roll through content like a giant wave of murder. It's great. Oh yeah, last thing I I think I kind of mentioned this, but the game is free to play, uh, so you can actually download the base game and play with us as such. Uh, the caveat is make sure you join Isle of Janthir or at least an American server because uh, I don't actually know how uh, grouping together works. I have a guild and everything. You're uh, free and welcome to join. Uh, so either you get in through Discord and somebody can invite you, or you bug me when I'm in-game. I managed to nab a character named Wanderbots, so that should make it a lot easier. Uh, so just remember, you can get this game for free, and just go to Isle of Janthir to make everything easier on everybody. Okay, now I'm done. Hope you enjoy. I am Silvari. Twenty-five years ago, my people first appeared in Tyria. The pale tree flowered, and the firstborn awakened. The dream contains my race's memories. We gain awareness here, and then awaken into the world. The dream fills me with knowledge, and is my connection to others. It is my inspiration, my guiding light. While here, I have discovered my purpose. To face evil and destroy it. Even now, I sense my destiny calling me to awaken. My time is soon. Nature and goodness are under siege. All life hangs in the balance. If Tyria is to survive, it will need us. If we fail, the dream will be consumed by nightmare, and Tyria will wither and die. I dream of battle. The voices of my people whisper of warfare and the storm of combat. I see a knight in armor, fierce with challenge. He offers me the gift of courage. The dream hints at my future. I see friendly faces, good and noble folk. They need me. I must keep them safe. A devouring force threatens all of Tyria. I will stand against that danger. On this, the eve of my awakening, I feel fire in my blood. And yet I sense darkness approaching. Something intrudes upon the dream. It blocks the path to my awakening. Before I can enter the world, I must first face this evil and vanquish it. I am summoned by the dream. This is my story.
we're we have like a little initial okay so we have a we have a little initial tutorial you have to talk to some people fight a little bit we have boss. to awaken from the dream technically we haven't been birthed from our pods yet yeah we're just little like egg sack people <laughs> um so should so, i should i be leaving team speak then if we're is it gonna be a bunch of dialogue uh, and talking and it questing? is gonna be dialogue oh, not we, too long seems like we shouldn't be on team speak yet then okay you want to just uh mute yourself yeah, and we'll how will i know when i'm done uh, it'll be super obvious. You'll you'll fight a thing. You'll get shunted out into the real world. Someone will be like, "Hey, welcome, sapling," and then you'll be out in Caledon Forest. Yeah. You have to okay. defeat the big tree monster first. I guess I'll see you guys later then. Yep. See you in a bit. Yes. All right. Well, I guess let's talk to Kate. Dreamer, I am Kate. I need your help. Can you hear me where you are within the dream? Within the dream? What does that mean? Why do you look transparent? I am interior, a land far away. Soon you'll awaken here, but for now you live in the dream. I can't explain right now. We must hurry. Something is poisoning the dream. Poisoning the dream? Of course I will do whatever I can to help you, but why me? Your spirit is strong. Do not underestimate yourself. Head to the far embankment, and I'll meet you there. Huh. What do I keep, like, rolling backwards when I try and dodge roll? I don't know. This way. It depends this on which way you're aspect. rolling. I know it looks great, but you must press on. Well, like, I'm holding W, and I don't know, Case whatever, it doesn't matter that much. I'm sure she could use oh, 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 I want to get across that bridge with you. So that I mean, can... I don't think it matters. I think it mattered more during the, t the like, early days of this. Oh, no, no, I've been blocked. It's a cycling event. Yeah, I know it's a cycling down. event, but, like, uh, it's, it's, the reason why I would cycle more early on was because we had, um, tons of people coming through and they this would, like, This is hilarious. Everyone's in cutscene mode and I'm not. Oh, you can just, like, walk around and do whatever? That's amusing. This is so amusing! Yeah, I... I get to witness its awakening. Let's see, is Guild Wars 2 free to play? Yes, it is! So I guess for people watching this YouTube, this will be a streamed... stream series, so it should be... I guess fairly obvious. Oh, I hit this guy once. Uh, but so yeah, this will be streamed, so I might be asking people to join us. Actually, I'll be asking quite a lot of people to join us. So this game is free to play. Anybody can anybody can get the base version. There's some like minor limitations, but like I said, minor. Uh, nice part is though, uh, you can all kind of show up in our game, in in our world, and help us out if you want to. Because uh, there's no like, there's a party limitation, but everybody can participate in events and hearts and stuff like that. And I've already got a guild together, so anybody that does uh, pick this up. You're perfectly welcome to uh, uh, join the guild and help out or just kind of play with people, including me. Let's yeah. see, will I be asking for noobs to join or people that are higher level? Anything works, considering everybody's scaled it's down, it really scene. honestly doesn't matter. We also have a lot of max level characters already. We're just starting new ones for the sake of going through yeah. the story. Oh yeah, if I wanted to bring my max level character, it'd be super easy. Where am I? I? I was fighting a great evil. Are we safe? Kaith? Where is Kaith? Steady, sapling. You just woke. You were calling out in your dream. Kaith was just here, but she had to go speak to the Pale Tree. She and I fought side by side against the poison in the dream. I saw the shadow of a terrible dragon, and I felt the dream call upon me to defeat it. By the tree. A wild hunt so soon, and such a momentous task. To be a valiant of the wild hunt is a difficult charge. Bear this calling with pride. I will. But how do I begin? One does not simply awaken and rush off to face a dragon. You start here, in our forest. There were others hurt in the dream. They could use your help. Besides, it'll be fine training for a new valiant. To describe, it's a tightness in your chest. And a buzz right. in the back of your head. 
So we can do mace, and Keith is still fighting the nightmare. Hopefully we should be able to get him in here, no problem. What is this? Oh, level 2 reward stat increases. Okay, none of these are interesting. Fine equipment? Oh! You will get fine equipment at level 6, personal story unlocked... Oh, at level 10. Interesting, yeah, this, this whole UI is completely new, which is super confusing. Well, you haven't played in such a long no. time. I've been keeping up with that. I have not played until uh since this game. Oh, do we want to go to a different map? Yeah, might as well. Well, uh I'm going to run up to the scout just so I'm not standing next to the crying lady. I don't want to just listen to somebody weeping this entire time. Okay, so I get to keep my character. Yay. Once I saw one of the hair options, I'm like, well, that's the one I have to pick for my Necromancer. <laughs> what, what hair option? I almost did the, did the Mohawk till I saw this option. It's just oh. too <laughs> he did it. He went through with it, and he's finally here. Oh, he's the Mushroom. I can, I can hide Helms the entire game, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm, I'm going to have to keep this. <laughs> you can permanently be the Mushroom. Shell and I have been making fun of that Mushroom for the entire time this game has been available. Nope, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it immediately. For there a necromancer character being a fungus monster. Yeah, that's great. No, it makes uh, sense. Especially uh, just... since my mushroom face is hiding in my skull mask. <laughs> <laughs> how do I? Can you say something in chat so I can invite you? Because I still don't know or... how to invite people. Otherwise, there you go. Oh, that's in. That's not party chat, but I'm standing next to you. Why? And, why does it not let me invite you to my guilds? This is dumb. I don't know, but nature and justice wants to be in your business right now. Yeah, I don't know who <laughs> nature and justice is. Probably Maybe some other audience because he's Maybe? like hugging you. And eh, no, it's a gold rated PvP person. I don't oh, think any of my audience is. is competent enough You're in the game. to do well at PvP. You don't think anyone in your audience is competent <laughs> enough? <laughs> oh, no. So, what do you think of our looks? Okay, oh, you that's why I can't invite pink. you. I'm not actually uh, I'm not actually repping my guild that I made. Oh, how do you know what and I'm, how do you know what I'm glowing? We're in like daylight. Uh, no. Actually, we're sort of in shadow right yeah. now. Oh. You're, you're, um, your undercap your is glowing. Your spore frills, or uh. whatever they call them, underneath. <laughs> you take clothes off in this game? I don't know where to look for them. I mean, you can take your clothes off, but... Eh. The, the pieces of armor that you can still have equipped, but also invisible, are your helmet and shoulder. Okay. I, was gonna, I was gonna look at the glowy body. But I actually uh, don't. Legit can't find anything in this menu right now. Oh, um, so you go to Hero, which is H, and the top tab is Equipment, and you can unequip them, and it goes into your inventory if you want. Okay. Uh, why, Keith, why are you <laughs> naked now? Why aren't I glow? Oh, there's the glow. I see it now. Yeah. Yep. Too bad you can't change the leaves at all. Yeah. You have the same color weird green crotch, no matter what. <laughs> I have white petals, but I'm not going to be showing my petal lingerie to everyone. The important thing well, is to just glow. Glow for everyone's... The moment. <laughs> this guy's dancing in front of me now. Are these all your friends? I assume these yeah. are... They yeah, are, the, the, these are, are, are fans. Oh, hey, look, everyone They're has their little the gold dragons guild. out. Yeah. Oh well, my god, we're... this will be a legit guild war because there's going to be a whole bunch of people running around with us because in this game, what all the, the encounters scale based on the, the co-op environments. How did I get a Drake scale? And why is it a level 80 accessory? Uh, what? Oh, oh, you got one of the super special items that adds an achievement. Where did- I was just killing some Drakes! Yes, yes! You what can, the fuck? Yes! That's a new one? Alright. You, you actually need to save that so that- or that, so that you can use um, it towards super special weapon skins. That's bizarre. I- yeah, I'll hold on to it. You're anyway, so- glowy. Who, uh, me? Who, me or and covered in wolf hair or something. Oh yeah, it's one of the uh, it's one of the fancy skins. I like that you can have like gargantuan size differences between characters with the sliders. Yes, because you look like you're a different race. <laughs> <laughs> well, he also chose to be much taller than yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, I maxed out my sliders. I generally do. Build. Okay, but you're more twiggy than I am. Oh, there's a char. Yep, yep. A that is a char. char. We have hat. we have friends now. So Keith, you re you remember <laughs> how this game works, right? The heart system uh, and events. You mean the scaling? Well, no. Uh, so instead of being like wow, where it has like quests, we just have like zones that we go do things in. Yeah. So let's let's start getting some progress in here. 
You do yep. also have quests, though. Um, personal story stuff, mm, yes. Yeah, personal story stuff. That's it. We probably want to do personal story stuff after we do stuff with the group. So, Just Shell, you've played every character, right? Um, every character? Or you mean every race or every class? Class. I haven't played every class. I mean, I've tried them up to maybe level 20, but I... I wonder if one of you could explain what my, one of my basic skills means, because I can't figure okay, it out. Okay, sure. Oh, it depends on what Consume weapon you have conditions equipped. says, feast on your conditions, gaining health for each one consumed. You become oh, eligible. Yes. Okay. So, and I'm like, I don't know what the condition is or how you feed on it. So, conditions or status effects? Poison, um, blindness... Yeah. So, if somebody infects me with something, I eat it to heal? Yes. Yes. You can also... Okay. There's also traits and things that was one that of the can... hypotheses. Oh, that's a green moa I can't tame. Dig up the worms. I'll be able to summon things, and I'll be this paradoxical nature flower person uh, necromancer. It, it's... Ooh. You're a mushroom. It, that's not paradoxical in the slightest. You're an oh no that's, necromancer. That's I'm a straight up fun guy. That's straight up uh, sensible. Thank you for continuing to be friends with me after that joke. <laughs> I mean, I went to Boy Scout camp. There was a guy who taught the like nature merit badge, and <laughs> and so he made that joke every day. No, that was his nickname. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just imagine somebody making that bad joke, but then thinking everyone would think it was, it was hilarious, so they would be like, yeah, "It makes you a pretty fun guy, pretty fun guy, pretty fun guy." Like just repeating it every now and then because they don't think anyone heard them. <laughs> it's like, no, it's just not funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's see. These you guys are so all watching this. us right now, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus. No, we, we've got <laughs> a uh, showed up. <laughs> we've got a horde. I'm actually kind of looking forward to when we get to the end game areas and like have a much easier time as a result. Yeah, because they introduced um, raids and I mean dungeons. You always had to have five yeah. members for anyway. Like Being one a of the lot of people is kind of one of the points of the game, kind of. Yeah. I, back I, when I'm this not surprised game... by the number, I'm surprised by how quickly they got here. Well, you can just take a portal from the main city, from any no, starting like if, zone to any other well, starting Well, like, if they zone. weren't pre- if they weren't ready, like, the game would have to be installed. Well, <laughs> I, a lot of these guys, uh, have known for about a week now that we are going to be... Oh, I see. Yeah. It's kicking crap out of tree. That and Guild Wars Everything is awesome, and it's been out right for years. Do. Still love it. keep saying that? I really enjoyed it back in the day, but literally every single person I played it with quit within like two weeks. And I'm like, oh, now I'm alone. Shame. Yeah, even my brother that plays MMOs obsessively quit it almost immediately. Oh. Shell and I played it in college, made it up to 80 with like a bunch of characters, and it was just kind of our date game. Uh, because we'd played the first one together as well. Yep. Are you guys hey, done? We saved awesome. The forest. Yeah. <laughs> well, we saved the this uh, particular patch. No, we patch. saved the forest forever. We did the it. The forest has been rescued. Okay, which way are we going? Up the, uh, up the hill? Yeah, we're gonna go up the hill. Uh, okay. I, want, I went up to a crib, like, look at the baby, and it was full of, like, pots. <laughs> I mean... That's not a baby. Whoa, 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 wait. How do you know? Where How many you... babies have you seen or made? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you can't identify a baby. <laughs> you don't have the right skill set. So I, I don't babies. see baby expertise on your character sheet. <laughs> During your travels, you will find adventure at every baby turn. Baby expertise. Do not forget where you come from. The heart of all cultures is farming baby. and commerce. To oh, this end, you're seeing this one? Got a mini rogue Wild Balthazar in the Spear Marshal's gift. Be it gathering from the water's edge or... Okay, I don't care. I like the little, like, scout word, like, uh... Oh, hi. Uh oh Event. Oh, I ran past you guys. I was like, how do I... I was like, oh no, I've lost him. Might not be the right level for this. Level but, six? Yeah, we'll be but fine. But we have a gargantuan horde. That'll solve it, right? Yeah, should be fine. <laughs> what could go wrong? I'm just level two. <laughs> I'm sending guild invites to literally anybody that whispers me. I'm hoping this should work out. So did I make a mis... Oh, so I, I was supposed to talk to a scout, wasn't I? Um, you don't need to talk with them. You just come upon the various challenges on your own anyway. I so think when you reach here the hearts, they, auto, they still apply? Yes. J just being in the area of a heart's influence allows you to get experience for that particular heart. Do you remember if the, like, jungle worms count? 
Um, I think we're supposed to be fighting off the Nightmare Court there. Well, there's yeah, an event the that spot. there's an event that pops up in this area, but the problem is, uh, like my only expertise for this is specifically. Oh, there's the Nightmare Court here. Rawr. Yeah, there's just one. Sometimes there's like a, a straight up invasion that happens, which works great. Just like one dude? Yeah. Right maybe. here. I think we're supposed it to jump off that cliff back. We're not even close to the heart. Yeah. We're supposed well, to be closer to the heart. They can be big. Yeah, but we're like really far from it. Yeah. Well, this is the field that they're supposed to. Um... Oh. oh, portal. See, this is a mesmer portal. Ah. We can arm the mortars all we want. Can I? How do we arm the mortars? Oh, there's a Nightmare Courtier. Oh, there's like webs and shit up here. You found the webs? Yeah, sort of. Looks like there's like some spiders in this kind of general area. Oh yeah, Any there's idea? spider webs. That's one of them. Can figure out the turrets? No, I think we're supposed to find ammo somewhere. Oh, I attacked the turret and I think that made it... Maybe not? It might have just made me lose. <laughs> it might be these, um... No, it's not the essence around here. I'm going up. There might be like uh, some kind of way back here. Have you guys made any progress yet? Like, is your bar empty still? Our bar is pretty empty. Yeah, I'm trying I to think... find spiders because it says. Oh, I know. Well, there are spiders in this cave. There's a nearby event glowing. Should we go to that? Sure. Lead the way. Right down here in the water. There's a big glowy event. Oh, are those the mosquitoes again? If people want to donate to the Wander Gets a Commander tag uh, oh, fund ow. for this, I would gladly ow. get it. It's just pricey. Fall damage is higher in some games than others. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> did you get... Did you get... Did uh, you get downed? Because we I can jump, heal you. I jumped straight down. <laughs> it was not a great idea. I've had better ideas. Oop. Oh, this is gathering the firefly essence. Oh, I went to, I went to the wrong event and dragged all the guild leaders with me. Or not guild oh. leaders, guild members. You said lead the way and then didn't follow me. <laughs> I I saw you running north and then I just checked out because I figured, yeah, he's going north. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't running north at all. Ever. I was south of everyone and I was going south. I was like, hey, there's an event down here and you're like, lead the way. I'm like, here I go. So are we killing You're the fireflies specifically then? Specifically south. I was supposed to get a firefly luminescence apparently. Yep, you have to. But apparently, killing loot. fireflies is not causing that. You have to loot or... their corpses. Oh, yeah, you I... have to. Am I supposed to you... put it somewhere? Yeah. Yep. Uh, you bring it to the person that has the drop sign next to them. There we Warden go. Warden okay. Anwin. Yeah, she's the one. There's also takes. firefly nests in the area I that we can grab. I like it how I like faked out. Uh, most of our helpers by like teleporting away. <laughs> oh, they're all chasing you and they just warped away. Yeah, they all went the other direction. Uh, how, do they have a way of finding you? How does this work? Uh, do you see the yellow dots on the map? Well, I think that's why they want the um. I don't see yellow dots on the map. Uh, no. in the nearby area, area. Well, you might not be repping the guild. Oh. I don't know what that means either. Let me uh, see. Press if I am. G. Gee. You might not have actually accepted the guild invite. Okay, now I'm repping because I... Um, how do I tell if I'm... No, it says leave guild and hench bots and everything. But is there like a little, uh, a little square? Is it open or closed? Check mark. There we go. Yeah. There's a check yeah, mark. I... Yeah, so now you should see, uh, you should see yellow marks on the map where guild members are. It's just and... this horde of people. Yeah, it's a horde of people. <laughs> Oh, and their names glow orange. Yep. That, that's good for discerning them. Yeah, so it's it's super easy finding uh, finding members of the guild. And we actually there's so there's also some fun things that I'd like to do uh, that are like guild team events, like uh, kind of oh, races. Oh, the, the guild dailies. Yeah, kind of thing? this series is gonna make me uh, gonna make me stream again. I think. Yeah, go for it. Because the audience is, my audience is just going to feel left out if they're like, Oh, you're doing a thing and I couldn't join? Yeah. So I'm going to think I'm going to end up streaming this. 
Bird, I don't know if you give a shit about MMOs, but you're also welcome to join us, seeing as we you're hanging out in chat. Nightmares. But if you don't give a shit, that's also perfectly acceptable. The game's free, by which we mean $50. Wow. <laughs> it's it's free as long as you don't accidentally just... Dis- roadblocks that might happen. It's free as long as you don't accidentally show up in Europe. It is still a wonderful game to solo, too. That's, that's like... the first pitfall, though, but what other ones might there be? Yeah, I don't know. That's the concern. Okay, I'm actually rather enjoying Revenant so far. I haven't seen what their uh, other abilities are, but the the weapon skills are nice. I'm just liking the color. The color of this particular starting area? Yeah. I'm running around as a bright pink character in a bright Fantastic. green environment. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I was a little apprehensive about being teal, because it's like, yeah, I'm going to blend in. But I don't hopefully... Hmm? Don't really have any uh, necromancy type skills yet, though. Uh, you get them as you go up in levels. So we we will be getting uh, hero points that go into masteries, but we don't get them till later. We're almost done with this, by the looks of awesome. it. Awesome. And then we can check out. I think oh we should probably God. we should These probably drink. go to the east <laughs> instead of uh, going back towards the level six area. These these scaled drakes look so majestic. Until you see their crappy, stupid eyes. <laughs> their tiny uh, little sunken, like, side eyes. Can, uh, well, Yay! I was gonna look, and then somebody murdered one. Alright, uh, yeah. Look at all that let's head north, uh, karma. let's head north not go to the level 6 area. There's, like, a little town here that we can go to. Plus 5 hero points, and a lot of other progression things that... I'll eventually figure out more. Yeah, so hero points are how you unlock your better skills, but we don't get those until level 11, unfortunately. Which shouldn't be too oh. too long. That was a surprise. Loot box was secretly an enemy. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so there's a bunch of dudes Not in this town that we have to, like, duel and, like, undead outside or something. Oh, yeah. There's, there's little hands on the ground that turn that where you grab the arm and the whole undead comes out to fight you. Yeah. That's what the surprise was. I'm like, oh, this is going to be uh, real easy. Uh, so people are just constantly going to be tapping these dudes to duel them. Be careful. <laughs> Gets easy. I, I don't know. I really enjoyed playing this game when it first came out because it more or less just turned into like a giant fest festival of people running everywhere, fighting everything. <laughs> just and the actually, there yeah, it was great. They're highly organized rotations for champion like yeah. mega bosses that provide you with better loot. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much we'll want to do that. Honestly, I'd prefer to do like dungeons and stuff, seeing as we're organized. Well, back to dueling people, because we're out of undead already. I think we had to run Never. through Twilight Never Arbor. Out of undead. We Never had to ran. run through Twilight Arbor 35 times to get uh, most of the suit that I wanted. Jesus Christ, that was instantaneous. All things have a right to glory. Yeah, so for this first Guild Wars game, the main dragon that we're facing is... I don't think Keith cares about the Zaitan, lore yet. Zaitan, the undead dragon. That's why there's so much undead. We, we will have oh Zaitan crammed into our faces so hard by the time we're done here. <laughs> My question is, how are humans all the way out here, like, undead-wise? I mean, Did people this area was Kaladon? filled... Yeah, there were humans here in the first game. They've just been the rotting there for a while. Fertilizer for all the trees. <laughs> I mean, what has it been? Two hundred and some years since Guild Wars One. I thought that, that was such a like weird moment for me, but it made a lot of sense. Finding out that there's just like a huge gap of time between one and the other. That's I mean, it done. allowed the pale tree to grow. I'm really glad that they actually mentioned the whole like Rowan inventory thing. That's the secret to having games that have continuity, but not really. Is to be like, it's been a million billion years. <laughs> Dark Souls. Well, yeah, Dark Souls is especially just like, eh, whatever. Oh, hi. <laughs> we got an event. Really, I don't know if we'll have time for it. Rescuing Seems like somebody else is in here. There's definitely stuff in progress right now. Oops, sorry, Stag. It's just such a big cloud oh, not of a mini. people. Oh no! 
I love cloud of people. Oh, I'm tiny. Yep. Oh yeah, the mushrooms. The, the mushroom mushrooms caps. will make you uh, crawl inside. Do weird things. It, it either makes you very large or very small. I the believe. mushroom made me small, I'm so I could so go inside spider the spider, queen. And the spider uh, nest, and yep. bring them all out. Oh, is the spider is this queen already? already here? No, it's not. I don't remember what exactly gets events to scale, but I remember she used to have a lot more HP. Now it's just like. <laughs> blip. I absolutely adore the uh, dynamic event system. Okay. I guess let's go join this guy. I like the dynamic event system because they always kind of pair off with uh, hearts. It'll be more dangerous from there's, a, there's a certain satisfying hint of just go, basically, yeah. going on. Yeah, I, uh, I was playing Albion Online uh, this past month, effectively, and it's been kind of me crabbing about, like, there's, like, zero... There's nothing dynamic about this experience. It's is very there a much follow just like, function? No. Uh, I don't think so. I was going to try to set myself to follow you while I tried to launch a stream. Oh. Well, I'm still I mean, you can always wait. Spiders. We are going to... If we, like, 100% an area, we end up wildly over-leveling it. Yep. And actually, there's benefits to doing so. It gives you yeah. experience and cash Yeah, rewards. ideally, what we're going to do is over, uh, like, over-farm every area so that cool. there's... Uh, so that we 100% them for the loot, and then we move on. That also gives that also gives everybody the chance to like kind of keep level with us, because if we go too fast, some people might uh, might get lost. And where did you go to? Did you go far north? Uh, there's a dynamic event. Oh crap! I think I deleted. Holy sh! I just remembered. I think I deleted my stream key from my recording software because I kept hitting stream on accident. <laughs> I'd, like, I know how to fix this, make it not possible to stream. <laughs> Won't take too long to fix, though. Like, we could totally just sit around and, and wait while you, uh... I might just do that really quick. Okay. Because I'm over by Morgan Spiral. So people aren't completely like, why only wander stream? No, this is a good opportunity for me to pee anyway, so... People, <laughs> our, our fans will defend us, considering they're, they are numerous. 